a major stride for India's airborne surveillance, DRDO is upgrading six Airbus A321s under the Netra MK2 AWNC program, enhancing radar coverage to 500 kilometers and endurance for long-range missions. Backed by a Rs 20,000 crore CCS-approved project, the aircraft modified by Air India Engineering Services Limited and Airbus Defense in Space will feature gallium nitride-based ASA radars, EW suites, and SATCOM links. Flight trials begin by 2029, with induction slated for 2033 to 34, boosting IAF's real-time air and maritime domain awareness. To bridge an urgent anti-armor gap, the Indian Army is procuring 12 FGM-148 Javelin launchers and 104 missiles from the U.S. under emergency procurement, as confirmed by Lt. Gen. Ajay Kumar. The Javelin's fire and forget, top attack capability, offers rapid reinforcement along sensitive borders. Parallelly, India is pushing indigenous ATGM efforts, DRDO's MPATGM, make two projects and a forthcoming fourth-generation ATGM RFP, blending short-term imports with long-term self-reliance and co-production plans. In a breakthrough for South-South defense ties, Brazil is reportedly set to purchase India's Tejas MK-1A fighters and Prachand attack helicopters under a barter arrangement tied to India's acquisition of Embraer C-390 Millennium Transport Aircraft. The proposed pact among the largest reciprocal arms deals between BRICS nations would see mutual production benefits, with C-390M replacing India's and 32 fleet and HAL expanding its export footprint in Latin America. India is fast-tracking quantum sensing technologies to bolster anti-submarine warfare. DRDO Chief Dr. Samir V. Comet revealed that ultra-sensitive quantum magnetometers, mounted on UAVs or aircraft, can detect submarines at 100 to 200 meters depth by sensing minute magnetic field disturbances. The indigenous system, expected within two to three years, offers a stealthier alternative to sonar, enhancing India's maritime domain awareness and securing strategic sea lanes across the Indian Ocean region. Russia has confirmed that the 4th S-400 Triumph Air Defense Squadron will reach India by February 2026 with the 5th and final unit to follow in September 2026, completing the $5.43 billion deal. The deliveries delayed by the Ukraine war will boost India's IAF air defense network, extending 400 kilometers interception coverage across critical sectors. The upcoming squadrons will integrate with indigenous radars under IACCS, cementing India's multi-layered air shield. Hyderabad's Raghu Vamsi has produced INDRA microturbojets rated at roughly 14 to 40 kgf, four tactical UAVs, target drones and loitering munitions, and demonstrated tests to defense stakeholders. The company now plans a jump to a 4.9 kN turbofan for one-ton cruise missiles and heavy UAVs, placing it near legacy small turbofan territory, though technical specifics are sparse and a multi-year development, testing and maturation effort is likely. Aerospace engineers Dinesh Baluraj and Anugraha Ganesan, founders of Yali Aerospace, have unveiled an indigenous fixed-wing VTOL drone, fully developed in Tunjavur. Drawing on a decade of European UAV experience, the duo's carbon fiber design features tilt rotors, SATCOM links, and AI autonomy for long-endurance ISR missions. Equipped with EO and thermal payloads, the stealthy platform promises persistent, low-signature surveillance for India's armed forces and forward base operations. The Defense Acquisition Council approved about rupees 79,000 crore of proposals on October 23, 2025. For the Army, acceptance of necessity was granted for procurement of NAG Missile System MK2, ground-based mobile electronic intelligence system, 
and high mobility vehicles with cranes. For Navy, acceptance of necessity was granted for landing platform docks, 30 mm naval guns, advanced lightweight torpedoes, electro optical infrared search and track system, and smart 76 mm ammunition. Air Force was granted to include the collaborative long range target saturation and destruction system and other proposals. In a breakthrough for indigenous propulsion, Bengaluru-based Prime Toolings has unveiled a prototype rotating detonation engine designed for next-generation missiles, delivering 1 to 2 kN thrust with up to 25% higher fuel efficiency. The kerosene nitrous oxide-powered engine could extend missile ranges to 300 to 500 kilometers. Built for just rupee 72,000, the compact, moving part-free rotating detonation engine promises cost-effective high-performance propulsion, positioning prime toolings as a rising force in India's self-reliant missile ecosystem. India's Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, is expediting work on an advanced Iron Bird test facility for the AMCA stealth fighter, slated to go live by April 2028, a year before the jet's maiden flight. The 25-ton ground simulator will validate fly-by-wire, avionics, hydraulics, and propulsion systems for the twin-engine AMCA MK1, powered by GEF-414 engines. Built with 80% indigenous content, the Iron Bird aims to log 1,000-plus ground flight hours, de-risking the 2029 flight schedule. Backed by the IAF and DRDO, the Rs 15,000 crore project marks a decisive leap toward India's fifth-generation fighter readiness. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.